We've got this really sorry looking maple tree on our balcony that's been trying its hardest to die for the last five years. Since we care about trees, we decided to give it a fighting chance in our concrete covered city and build it a hexagon planter to live in. First thing you need to do is go to the hardware store and buy the cheapest, crappiest wood they have available, but make sure it's Douglas or something equally water and rot resistant. Then open SketchUp and make a model which is entirely useless to take dimensions off of because you have no idea how to use SketchUp. Following that, you can redraw the whole thing on paper because paper actually works the like you want it to. Now this isn't going to be one of those precise and polished woodworking videos, rather a get or done kind of video, so if that doesn't sound like something you're into, you can move on now. The first thing we start with is the base, which is made from six components because we're making a hexagon. We start off by mitering all the boards and then screwing them together. Make sure you at least spring for stainless steel screws and not the ones made from recycled brake rotors. Next up are the vertical supports which go in each corner of the hexagon. Can someone explain to me why all of the cheap table saws are designed to tilt the blade toward the fence rather than away from it? Ginger carefully cut the tapers onto the corners, trying not to lose a limb. This part is actually quite important to be accurate on because of things which you'll see later. After cutting all of the boards to length, we now start screwing the bottom boards onto the base, followed by cutting all six sides off with a circular saw. Make sure you do this at least twice or until your boards are too short. The last cutting operation are the pieces which cover the entire outside of the planter. We had to make a total of 72. You can do this in steps of 30, failing to calculate how many you actually need and going back to the hardware store four times for more boards. If only we had a SketchUp model or something similar where we could count them. Make sure to take the most crooked ones with the most knots, they'll help you in the assembly later. Now starts trouble in paradise. See. You should check that your vertical supports are some kind of 90 degrees relative to the top of the box. Failing that, you'll end up screwing all of the sideboards on twice. If you watch this part closely, you can see that we're not even the same zip code as kind of 90 degrees. I left the second assembly out of the video. Next up, I attached the base to the rest of the structure. This part went surprisingly smoothly. I drove a couple of screws into the vertical supports, along with a few into the boards which make up the bottom. The last few steps involve painting the inside with some kind of oily water resistant schmoo of your choosing. We used an oil based sealer for decks from PPG. After you spread paint all over yourself in the floor, you can cover up the inside with some heavy duty plastic and poke some holes in it so the water can escape. Now it's very important that you don't let the paint dry before installing the plastic. That way you can ensure that your clothes are going directly in the bin. Finally fill it up with dirt, stick your tree in it and crack open a beer to admire your hard work. We spent in total around 100 euros for this project. Now I don't have any plans or anything else useful to contribute so we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching.